Hey guys, it's Lisa. I just did this video and I'm having to do it over because I had a big thing of lash glue right here and I know it would have, it was gonna drive me crazy to edit it. I knew it would drive you crazy. So we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna show you a few little goodies that I have found at Marshall's, at TJ Maxx, and I have something I wanna show you from Target too. And I'm not gonna spend a long time. It's not like really reviews. It's just things that I think if you get to go stop by one of these places that you would like. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is Aqualina Pink Sugar. I believe this is still, I don't know if they quit making this or not because this is a very popular scent. I think you either like it or you hate it, but I think it is worth trying before you decide that you are gonna hate it. It's definitely a sweet scent. I got this for Brooke because I've already had this. I've kind of been there, done that, and she wanted it. We went to TJ Maxx, I believe, last Thursday, and I told her, I said, you're probably gonna recognize this scent because I probably wore it around you a lot because this is something I could wear around John. It's not too heavy. It's sweet. It's got like cotton candy notes in it, but it also has some deeper notes in it like Tonka bean and a lot of musk and stuff like that so it's a little bit more <sighs> intricate than you would think and i think it's worth a try if you have not tried it the next thing that i got that i think is probably what if you can find this i think you would like the most or maybe next to the most out of all the stuff i got this is the pure grace tropical summer it says this is summer living is easy and it is a light fresh take on the summer beachy scent. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, you guys. But in true Pure Grace form, it is a lighter version. It's definitely not something that is going to like get you a lot of compliments. It probably doesn't have a lot of projection, but it is something, I've worn this twice. It is something that you will smell, like you can still smell it on yourself hours later but it's not something that I just smelled when I got in the car or just, I didn't get like whiffs of it. It was kind of like something that I could just smell on my skin, which sometimes you kind of want something like that. And it is just beautiful. It has like watermelon, coconut. I believe it has coconut water, just nectarines. It looks like it has some type of white flower. But if you see this at TJ Maxx or Marshall's, I've seen it at both. I bought it in like a little kit that came with a like a body oil and I gave that part away because I'm just not, body oils scare me because it was one of those that you need to put on in the shower and I just didn't want to do that. As you know, what started this whole video is me finding this at Marshall's for $6.99. It's the Bombshell Anti-Frizz Dry Shampoo. Love it. I had seen this at TJ Maxx, but when we went back the other day, they were all sold out. So I think this is pretty good. You don't have to just get the anti-frizz one. I think the other one's probably pretty good too. And then this. This is the main reason I love looking at the fragrances and everything. I, I look at the beauty stuff too. And I have seen like, they've got some Morphe brushes, Japanese brushes. I've seen some real, I saw the Shiseido cotton squares. I've seen some pretty good stuff there, but I'm mainly going to look at the fragrances. And what I love to get are the Escada fragrances because these, you know, come out every year. So they're taken right off the shelves and then they're sent to stores like this. So what I have done is I didn't just get every one I saw. I, when I see one, I look it up on the internet, like on Fragrantica. I look at the notes and I try to get the ones that are kind of different. And this is gonna help me decide what I like and what I don't like. Now I will say they're all kind of a light, fruity, fresh summer scent. None of these are gonna last that long, but they do make you feel good. They do, like you still do smell them. I do still smell them on my skin and they are different. You know, I kind of used to feel like they were all the same, but they are different. Like for instance, I think it's this one has like drink notes in it, like tequila. And it has more of that, it might even have cactus water. I'll put the notes up here while I'm talking, but it has definitely some different notes. And then 
I think Miami Blossom might have had, both of these I believe had some watermelon, which I love watermelon in my summer scents, but they were a little bit different too. Looks like this one is gonna be the fruitier one. I cannot remember. Seems like this one had some aquatic notes. So just, you know, go there, see if you see anything. I wanted, I kept these in the box just so you could see them, so you could recognize them. And then look them up on your phone and read the notes and see if it's anything that you're interested in. Most of them, like these are the big bottles. And yeah, like this one was $30. So you can find the smaller ones too for like $19.99. And they're just good, they're fun to have. They're the kind that are good just to keep in your beach bag, keep in your, like Brooke keeps fragrances in her car. Here, it's gonna be a little tougher in the summer, but I'm thinking of getting, I do have a couple of totes that I like to carry in the summer. So I'm thinking I could throw something in there too if I wanted to. Okay, and then this one. This is something I just picked up yesterday and I have not smelled it yet. Brooke, matter of fact, already had this, but I'm gonna keep it. She said, I already have that. I said, do you know where it is? She said, yeah, there might be one or two missing. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll just go ahead and keep it. But it's the Mix Bar from Target. And this is the Coconut Palm. And it's the Eau de Parfum. These are the same concept, you know, to blend and layer, kind of like Jo Malone. And a lot of the fragrances are doing that now. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to get better at that. I'm gonna have to get better at blending and mixing mine because I seem to prefer something that's already done, but I'm gonna have to work on that. So this is fresh coconut combined with creamy vanilla and a pinch of sea salt that instantly transport you to tropical paradise, created with wonderlust by artisan perfumer Patricia Toy. Endless possibilities. And then I wanted to try, it's got like the whipped almond, cloud musk, sparkling hibiscus, coconut palm, and vanilla bourbon. So I thought I would try those two and then let you know if there's any other ones that we should try. So I am just going to, so it has a good sprayer on it. Okay, that's not the best way here. It's not real strong. Hmm. It's very, very light. Very, very light. I am gonna to have to get back with you on this because I'm not as impressed as I thought I would be. This is something, I guess this is good if you want something very, very light. But I don't think it, it's not pretty to me. And it might be because it is just so basic. Fresh coconut combined with creamy vanilla. Okay. Getting a little bit more of the vanilla now. A pinch of sea salt. Yeah. Okay, this is not my favorite tropical scent. It does smell good, but it's, I would not say this is pretty. This is more of a, an earthy. This is more of an earthy type beach scent, which I know a lot of people do like. So, hmm. I'm gonna have to see if Brooke likes that. I'm kind of disappointed because I thought that was going to be a true kind of beachy, really pretty scent. But I think the fact coconut palm, I think that's, it's an earthier coconut beachy type scent. More like not being on the beach, but being up in the coconut trees <laughs> or something like that. So if you've tried this, let me know what you think. If the dry down is better, or just what you think about that. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait till I see about that before I open that one too. Okay, and then a few little mentions here. I thought I had one more thing here, yeah I do. These are some things I used today I just wanted to tell you about. This is the Body Shop Body Butter Coconut for very dry skin. Loved this. If you want a good coconut moisturizer, to moisturize your skin and help your fragrance hold on a little bit better, but you don't wanna alter the fragrance of your, or you don't wanna alter the scent of your fragrance, and you don't want it to just be overpowering or that fake kind of coconut scent, this is good. I mean, this is like, it's like the true coconut, not the perfumey coconut. 
and it was not greasy or thick. It just really left my skin feeling good. I am very, very, very impressed with that. I'm gonna get a backup of that because Brooke is already using it, so I'm probably gonna give that to her. This is the Ulta Beauty Vintage Beauty Cream Shadow. I have it on now. I did not care for this. It's the matte. And remember a couple weeks ago, I heard that the matte liquid shadows there were good. I did not care for this. So I don't know if I'll be trying another one. I salvaged it by putting some just glitter over it and I'm just not gonna worry about it too much. But I just want to mention that I am probably not gonna get any more of those. And then I have shown you this before, but like today I brushed out my hair I had let it dry naturally night before last and it was frizzy crazy it was just you know all over the place but i can spray it with this which is the bumble and bumble curl reactivator and oh my gosh it doesn't even it has a light scent and it doesn't leave your hair you know like crunchy feeling at all I've tried now the cream and the mousse from this line, and I will have to say this is my favorite product from that line. I love it. I'm going to get the big one because, matter of fact, I knew I loved it when I brushed out my hair and I had to search for this because I keep my hair products in these two baskets, and because this is small, it gets, you know, as I use other things, it kind of gets knocked down and put under things, and I was like searching for it, and I was like, okay. Now I know I really like this and I need it. And then I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then I'll let you go. Okay, this is one of the dresses again from Walmart. And there's no denying that this would look better. Oops, lost my flip flop. There's no denying that this would look better with a pair of wedges. It just would give you a better, you know, puts your body in a different um, position, stature. But I'm just going to be running around today. I'm going to my parents later on, and I just wanted to wear flip-flops. So I have on, I'll show you, I have on these, which are from Victoria's Secret. They're the Javiana Victoria's Secret little collab, and I love them. So that is what I'm wearing today. I thought this was a hoop dress for sure. My Chanel watch, my wolf ring, and... Anything else? I think that's it. I just wanted to make this quick little video and give you some things to look for when you go in TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I will also link them below in case you don't feel like going in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, which I totally understand. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.